Hello YouTubers, welcome back to the workshop. If you have a look at the thumbnail, you'll see this week I'm going to make a seal. I'm gonna turn Lovely off. little project, these toys. I'd like to say they sell well, but I'd never keep one long enough. Uh, my grandchildren just come in and they just snap them up as soon as I make them. Um, what I'm going to use this week, I've got this piece of U. I've already turned the tenon on the end. I do love working with the U, such beautiful colours running through there. So, should be quite a nice project to make. So, stick with me and see how I get on. So, I've done a cut piece of it off, uh, put a ten on the other end, cut that piece off, and that I'm going to use for the head. So, the first thing I need to do is just true this up. Let's bring up the centre just beyond the safe side. Now, I'll start to shape the head. This will be the snake or the nose. See the shape they're just starting to form now. Going near my I don't know how close I can get to my chuck. I just need to run that over for the nose, the tip of the nose. and sign that down I'll get back to you. When I first started making these toys I used to turn up uh, for noses and things like that. I'd turn them up a bit of a piece of walnut. I used to put quite nice. Um, but I found this just as easy. I just went in there with my skew chisel just cut a small mark um, and then just gone in there with a permanent marker. A permanent marker you can go over the top of that uh, sand and sealer were taken off so you've got to be a bit careful but the actual wax will go over the top of that and it'll shine that up and it looks just as good if not better than a piece of walnut in there and it is a lot easier to do now, I'm not going to pry that off for the time being because I need to make my body next and then I need to see what size that head is in relation to the body so I've left it so that I can remount it in the chuck if I need to turn it down just make it a little bit smaller so now I'm just starting off this is going to be the main body this is a, another chunk of you that I had I've already got the tenon on there I think one of the good thing about making these toys is you get to use up all your odd bits of wood all the logs and I've got a shed full of logs like this that you really you don't know what to do with them they're too good to throw away at the same time um, you're not sure what to do with them and all these toys they do lend themselves very nicely to getting used up for that sort of project so first thing I do I've got my roughing gauge my spindle roughing gauge and I'm just gonna go through here and I'm just gonna take this down to a cylinder now I'm just coming in to form the main body of the seal. The left hand side will be the front of the seal where the head will sit. And then obviously to the right hand side will be the tail. So what I want to do is taper that down. Give that a nice tapered shape. Because all seals, as we know, are tapered. So it's just a matter of coming through, taking some of that wood away there, and then that will be at the back of the seal where it flares out for its tail fins, I suppose they're called. So I just want to very gently roll that over, And then there'll be a small hole in there where the, the revolving centre went. I just need to turn that away. And that's that pretty much finished. 
It was, I don't know if you noticed there was a crack in that running through there. It was quite superficial. But what I'll do is I'll make sure that's on the bottom of the seal when I sand it. And you won't be able to see that. So that's pretty much the shape I want. That's all finished. So I just need to sand that up now. And I'll sand that down to around 320. So that is the final shape I want. You is a beautiful wood. Some lovely colours running through there. Shines up beautiful. So first off we'll have a bit of sand and cedar on there. So we go with the wax. Beautiful shine on there. That's lovely. Now I'm getting part of that off. Now this is what's going to form part of the tail. So when I part it off, I need to get in as far as I can that way. Look at that, look at that. That head's way too big. Let's turn that up. And we'll turn that down a bit smaller. So that's his head pretty much finished. Um, I've sanded it down three times. I'd have got that until I got it down to size that I thought was uh, quite acceptable. Now what I want to do is mark on the eyes, there's a bit of a crack in the wood there, so I'm going to try and put that on the bottom and that will be the top of his head there, and so I want to mark two eyes, so I'll put one about there and the other about there. Let's make sure I get them on the same line. I just hold my pencil on there. Do that the same there. And then just use my drill. Now we can have a sand sealer. The wax. Clean a bit of cloth, buff that up. Let's part off. And the next thing I need to do is just take that off and clean that up. And to do that, I'm going to make a small hole in there. Now fits in there beautiful. As you can see, I'm just holding his head in place with a couple of spots of hot glue. That's just enough to run the sander over there, just to take that all down so it's exactly the same as the rest of the head, and just apply a little bit of sand and sealer and then a little bit of wax, and then it will look all exactly the same. And then all I have to do when that's finished is just apply a little bit of brute force and ignorance 
and just pull that out and it doesn't stain it doesn't mark it it's a really good way of holding that in there and cleaning that as you see no marks on there at all so all that's left for me to do now is just take this body take it away i'll put it on the sander my belt sander and sand a flap on the top and on the bottom of the seal um i won't bother showing you this because it's not very interesting I've just taken it over onto my belt sander and I've sanded that bottom off flat so it sits there nice I've sanded a little piece off there for its head to sit on I've also sanded a small piece on corresponding on the head and I've also sanded the back of that there and I would, this is the first one I made uh, if I made them again and you would need to make that a lot narrower in there because that was a lot of wood I had to take away from there I did actually at one point I took that over onto the bandsaw because there was so much to take off but that's pretty much what I want left what I need to do now is to make a couple of side flip and to do that let's go over onto the jigsaw as I said I've not done one of these before but what I'll do is just make two flippers now and you see the pencil marks on there? I'll give that a go. I'll make one first, see what it looks like. And if it's okay, I can cut another one. Is that the same? So um, I thought I'd need to do that on the fret saw, but I can actually do cut that on the band saw, that shape. That's a piece of cut. I've got plenty of width on there because I want to cut that back and sweep that back that way. But I want a compound cut in there because I'm going to have to curve that to sit against the side of the body. But I'm also going to want it to sit back that way. So it'll be cut that way and that way at the same time. Probably become clearer once I do it. So I'm going to take that over onto my belt sander and just sand that there. I've just taken it over onto the belt sander I've sanded that off on there, I've put a curve in there and just put just a curve in there that's one done, what I'll do now let's do one to go on the other side this is why I love working with you so much even in that little piece, the beautiful colours running down through there you've got this lovely yellow down through there beautiful purple, there's orange all down through there and then you come back to that lovely yellow it's in one piece of wood and you bring up a piece like this with that lovely grain pattern in there that's just swirling about all over the place and then you've got this beautiful purple running through there and that's the same and you've got this beautiful grain running down through there Gorgeous wood to work with. Right, I'm going to get and cut the second fin. I'll get back to you when I've done it. That's the two side fins completed. I just need to get some sand sealer on them and a little bit of wax, and then we can go for the big glue up. So I've gone on giving that a coat of sand sealer and a coat of wax, and I'm just going to buff that up with my mop. so it comes up exactly the same as the rest of the seal and do the bottom as well lovely shine on there and I wonder whether I can do these with them flying across the workshop it's lovely now for the big glue up so here we have the glue up first thing I'm going to do is fit the eyes Two little drops of super glue in there. Just drop that in. Drop that in. A little spray. It's 
funny as soon as you put the eyes in there, the face comes alive. Next we fit the head. Just drill a hole in there. Drill a head in the middle of there. Let's just turn the head a bit of an angle like that. So that's lovely. That's in the right place. There's a little bit of glue on there. A little bit of glue on there. Now we're back in place, put that one back in place. It's quite a spray. It's done. And then just need to fix the flippers on the side. difficult for me to show you that and do it at the same time. So I'll just put a bit of glue on there. Let's put some spray on there. And there it is done. Well here we go YouTubers. All done. One seal. They have such cute little faces, don't they? First time I ever turned one of these, um, if I turned it again, as I said earlier, I would certainly make that a lot narrower across there. It took me ages to sand that down to get that sort of thickness there. And if you took that down thinner across there, you wouldn't have half so much sand in to do. And also the flippers. I think I would have a... I'd have to sit there and have a serious think about those flippers. They did take an awful long time, very fiddly. Took a long time to do. I'm sure there's a much easier way of doing them. But nonetheless, he's cute. I bet you don't spend long in my house. Probably till the weekend till the grandchildren come up. Those of you who are still watching, thank you very much for that. And I'll see you all again next week. You take care of yourself. Bye-bye.